Teal, orange, red, and gold, they come in different colors and sizes. These gel pellet guns are marketed as toys, but St. Pete police say in the wrong hands, they can hurt someone. The point I want to get across is these toys are very dangerous. On Saturday, several people were hurt when a group of about 200 teens gathered at the St. Pete Pier. Some had gel pellet guns and shot into a crowd. Two people eating at a restaurant were hit. An officer at the pier was also hit. Then a 22-year-old drove along Beach Drive as a 14-year-old hung out the sunroof, shooting a gel pellet gun at people, hitting a patrol horse named Storm in the neck, shoulder, and eye. The officer riding the horse was also hit. We're very fortunate that it wasn't serious. And we're very fortunate the horse was trained because just think about that horse being shot in the eye. It could have taken the rider, kicked the rider off the horse, and then gone down the street and possibly injured more people. Several teens threw their gel pellet guns to the ground when police showed up. The 22-year-old and 14-year-old were arrested. Both were charged. A second 14-year-old was arrested too. Chief Anthony Holloway says anyone using these toys to shoot at people will be arrested and their parents will also face consequences. They could have to pay restitution to the harm that it caused to the person that has been shot or any damage. Also to any adult that decide to hang out with these children that are out there using these toys. We will charge you with delinquency of a minor because you know what these kids are doing. Holloway says they will have extra patrols along the pier and beach drive this weekend as events like the St. Pete Pride Youth and Family Day in North Straub Park draw in large crowds. Heather Lee, ABC Action News.